What's up, y'all? It is day two out here at Wake the Puddles. I'm not exactly sure how long today's video is gonna be, but yesterday I asked Charlie kind of to tell me the whole story on how this place got started or how it got built. And he only kind of gave me a short little rundown. So today I'm gonna try and get a little bit more out of him, film him riding some of the cool tricks he does and stuff like that. And hopefully he gives me the entire lowdown on uh, how this place got started. Where are we at, dude? We're at Wake the Puddles in the Czech Republic. Oh, shit. Let's go. So you're like you're like the founder of Wake the Puddles, right? Yeah, built it with these hands. The master. <laughs> the master. The king of Wake the Puddles. Yeah, well, everything hurts now. Uh. My back's dead after digging out all the holes. Perfect. Hop in the car, watch it go vroom, vroom. I told them all that I was soon. Yesterday, I asked you what's the story on this place, but it was pretty brief. It so I guess, story. Yeah. I guess when, when did you first have the idea that you wanted to build like a, a backyard wake park? I reckon it was probably five years ago, five, six years ago. I saw a video, I think I saw a video JB in the levee. And I was like, poof, I want that. <laughs> oh, sick. I had no idea. <laughs> Yo. Bruh. Yo! Woo! And then when did you first get the land here? Ooh, we managed to, we were looking for the land for like the last five years. Uh, and we managed to get the land about a year and a half ago. Uh, sort out all the uh, paperwork, all the authority, the red tape, and uh, yeah, started building as soon as possible, straight away, and uh, only just finished a month ago, and uh, yeah, it's a dream to come true. Ooh. Let's go, sorry. It is a dream come true, isn't it? That was dope! Was there already water here or did you dig all the puddles? We didn't dig all the puddles, there were two puddles here. Um, and we dug the third one. Um, and we tried to clean it out as much as possible. But thankfully there's a guy with a digger that lives around the corner, so he's helped us loads. He's been here quite a lot. And yeah, it's easier than a shovel. So you're telling me you didn't dig this with a shovel? I dug a little bit with a shovel, but not much. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Bro, what do you think? Pretty incredible. Fantastic. Amazing. Fucking sick! Yo. Dude, you just landed in the grass bank. That was sick. And where'd you get this cable? We bought this cable used second hand in Bake Park Ptui. So you can buy the you can buy these things used. You don't have to get it brand new. You don't have to get it brand new. They're a little bit cheaper used. Obviously better new because everything's new. But you can service and you can change all the bits in them. So yeah. So if you keep good care of them, then they last a long time. And all the rails in your park are a unit, right? Yeah, uh, mostly unit. We left. Uh, Oof, a few thousand euros uh, a unit. <laughs> so this is this this rail 
is for sure not unit. No, yeah, we built all the rails ourselves, me and a couple of friends. Uh, yeah, I've got a friend that does welding, plastic welding, another friend that does uh, welding, metal welding, so yeah, all, all uh, homemade and thought up in our heads. So the dimensions are a, a little bit different? Well, yeah, they're, well, it, I built it for myself, so I ride right foot, so it's mostly right footed. And yeah, everything that I wanted and everything that I saw in different parks that I thought would be cool. So looking at, yeah, Valdosta, looking at the levee, looking at wake tools and seeing different things that I'd like to have and then, yeah, putting it together in a way. Oh! Hey. So these really aren't unit, are they? Ah. Hard worker. Hard worker. Handmade. Big UFTF. Right. Oh. Oh. Whoa! What do you think of Charlie? I love him. Yeah? He's the sickest? The best. What's up with the, with the tire out there? Yeah, the tire is original. It was a, a nesting spot for the ducks. But since we've been ollieing it, then the ducks haven't been nesting so much. Oh, I, could you get arrested for that? Oh shit, yeah. What do you think of that one? Yeah, it's so sick. <laughs> so, since these aren't unit, yep. What are they? Tell me about them, I guess. They're all homemade. Um, well, which one's what? We tried to make it as as variable as possible. So you got rail to rail coming up. You got wall ride, and yeah, in the middle you got plastic. But we've got a friend that welds plastic, so. Thankfully, we managed to get the, the plastic well lift. So there's no screws in there? No screws, yeah, I hate screws. I haven't got enough money to buy boards all the time. So we've got proper, proper thick, <coughs> tested by JB and Graham. Yeah. Which is, yeah, I'm happy it survived. So what's this rail? This is just a down rail, long um, down rail. And this? Um, just like a safety to the down rail. But obviously you can go safety to that rail, then we've got ollie onto this rail from this side, and then you've got jump onto rail from this side. Yeah, and whatever you think of is is what you can do. Any any new obstacles? What's this? This is JB's hack. He's just thought up of. I thought that was your hack. Well, I did it. He thought of it. And yeah, let's go kicker to grass to kicker to double flip. Nah, probably. <laughs> Oh. In the mud. <laughs> oh, good thing the lake's really deep, huh? <laughs> Get deeper. What's that, uh, what's that little building down there? Oh, we've got a little hut that's original. That's what came with the, uh, the property at the start. So we've uh, put it together. We've got a little uh, totem pole there looking after us. Well, let me check that out, show everyone. Yeah, what does that mean, the totem pole? Yeah, it is just, that like for your religion? No, no, it just keeps the good vibes. Good, keeps good them, vibe religion. The good vibe religion, exactly. Sick. Keeps everyone safe. And what's next? You, you're, you have the little hut down there. Yeah. What, what's this thing right here? We're building a small house for us to live here. That's not unit. No, no, no. That's Charlie made as well. You were making that? Yeah, yeah. With like your hands? These ones, yeah. They're gonna hurt, they're gonna hurt. Strong guy. <laughs> yeah. Bro, yeah! Whoa, dude, what's up, dog? Uh, guy. What do you think about Charlie, dude? He's ripping, man. Yeah? Do you think he's sure. the king of Wake the Puddles? I think he's the king of Wake the Puddles. King of Czech? Yeah, I think so. And it's a tri-level. You, 
You got one, two, two and, and three. three. We'd love to make it a, what would that be, a quad level? Yeah. A quad level in the future. Yeah, so we've got plans of, this is the first year we've only been open a month or we've been working a month, able to ride for a month. So, so no one's really ridden here yet? No, no, I think JB, Graham, me, Ali, and a couple of guys from Apovitz have ridden here, but that's, that's about it. Ooh, nice. What else do we need to know? I don't know what else. What else do we need to know? I don't know. We want to make it bigger, bigger and better, inspired by yeah, more riding, different things. And not open to the public? It's not open to the public, no. Any plans for anything public? Uh, we'd like to have some demo days. We'd like to be open, I don't know, like for four events a year, four or five events a year, or booked out for four, four weekends a year, something like that. Maybe like a big contest? A big contest would be amazing, yeah. Yard sale. Yeah. Six, is it? Five, seven? Something like that. Oh, I'd love that, yeah. Inspired by Valdosta as well. Love all the, all the, bowl I saw the bowling balls there this year, so. So it could be like a Euro sale. The, the Euro sale, it's true. Check sale. <laughs> the check sale, yeah, exactly. What are those two things? I wouldn't, the leaning on the yellow. Oh yeah, you, you don't have these in America. Like people in Europe use these to dig holes. And that's this, this one looks like it's dug quite a few holes actually. That dug the puddles. That dug the puddles. <laughs> yeah, bruh. What an animal. All right, that's gonna be it for today out here at Wake the Puddles. It's so sick to be one of the first people ever to come check this place out. Charlie did such an awesome job building this place. I would imagine since this place is basically brand new there would be a, a lot of cool stuff you're going to start seeing and coming from here so you're definitely going to want to stay tuned with charlie and also wake the puddles stay tuned with all of their social platforms i'm going to leave the link to all of those down in the description below anyways i hope you guys enjoyed charlie's riding and some of the backstory of how this place got built so uh yeah that's it for today if you guys like this video make sure you give me a thumbs up comment below what kind of videos you guys want to see in the future and remember i'll be uploading a wakeboarding video every second day forever so make sure you guys subscribe i'll see you all next time peace